Thank you so much, Michael Hudson, because we just got a report in from Oakland, the general strike, the first in more than a half a century. We go right now to John Hamilton of KPFA. The port of Oakland is among the world's busiest, moving thousands of shipping containers on a normal day. But Wednesday in Oakland was anything but normal. By 5 p.m., a crowd that police estimated at several thousand and which protesters said was far higher swamped the entrances to the port and idled trade. It capped an extraordinary day of actions that followed Occupy Oakland's call for a general strike. Community organizer Kat Brooks. Um, I've heard ranges from 20,000 all the way up to 100,000 people were here. All I know is that when I hit the hill for the bridge, I looked back and all I could see was floods and floods and floods and floods of people chanting and marching. We took over three gates that we found out we're going to be working today. We stayed there until the arbitrator came, and in all three cases, the arbitrator said that it was an unsafe place for the workers to um, enter. And from what I understand, that we've gotten mixed reports, um, the workers were sent home with pay, which is a huge victory, because, of course, we don't want anybody to lose a day's pay in today's economy. We're out here today, um, A, as a part of Occupy Oakland, but it was really preempted by the brutal and vicious attack on peaceful protesters by the Oakland Police Department last week, where they shot tear gas and flash bomb grenades into crowds of women and children and elderly. The most famous um, example of what happened, of course, is to the Iraq veteran Scott Olson, who was hospitalized. goodness, he's doing much better now, but there was a point there where folks were not sure if he was going to make it. And I think people have just, on the heels of the Oscar Grant protests, where they also used very brutal repression on us, I think really people have just had enough. You know, we just said that we're not going to take it anymore. And so folks came out in the thousands, right, across race, across class, across ideologies, across tactics, to say no more. The day of action began early Wednesday morning at the Occupy Oakland encampment in Franco Gawa Plaza, an area renamed by protesters after Oscar Grant, the 22-year-old man shot to death by a transit officer on New Year's Day 2009. Kicking off the day of action was a famous author, activist, and scholar. My name is Angela Davis. A crowd of thousands had flooded downtown Oakland, their ranks swelled by union members. My name is Kimberly Rojas, and I'm the Oakland president of the National Postal Mail Handlers Union, and I'm out here on a day of action supporting the general strike. Uh, the postal workers are 99 percent. We're under attack with all workers around the world, and it's time to rise up and start a new day. While no labor group explicitly endorsed a general strike, unions including the SEIU, the Longshoremen's Union, and the Oakland Education Association backed a day of action in solidarity with the Occupy Wall Street movement. Steve Neat is an officer with the Oakland Teachers Union. We know that there's hundreds of teachers participating today. There's four schools right now that have pretty much shut down for the day. Um, there's other schools where some of the staff have gone. We know that there were over 250 requests 
requests for substitutes for today. Among those educators idled by the general strike was kindergarten teacher Emily Bean. I was there on Tuesday night getting gassed by the police in the peaceful demonstration. And I came here again today to support the occupation. My son says bail out the schools, not the banks. OUSD is a struggling district. I currently have 24 children in my classroom. They're closing down five public schools next year. That means we're going to have a huge influx of students. It could be up to 27 in the classrooms. This is not feasible to meet the needs of our youth. We're really setting our kids up to fail. There's a school to prison pipeline, and I see it happening. I see it happening under these conditions. That report from Oakland filed by John Hamilton. That does it for our show.